Back at it again, baby. Yes, what is up everybody? Hello, my name is LeCompton. Welcome to today's review. We have got D Maniacal Fitz, Proud Prince, Margin Vegeta, and oh my God, am I excited. How excited am I? I will tell you, I love Vegeta. Vegeta is my boy. I'm probably at some point going to get a half sleeve of with Vegeta on it at some at some point in my life when I stop being a little baby um, because I don't like needles but I have a shrine of Vegeta yes I said a shrine because it is a straight shrine to my Vegeta boy and uh, there is a specific spot saved on there for the Maja Vegeta statue still working on getting that but uh, exhibit a and also, if you can't tell, the profile picture for the channel is very Majin-esque. <laughs> so, so you know, you know I'm a big fan here. And I'll be honest with you, when I saw this coming, uh, I was like, okay, I got a Majin Vegeta. I have a custom Majin Vegeta head. I don't think I need this. And uh, suffice to say, I was wrong. I need this Maja Vegeta in my life. And I, it, it's, it's mainly one of the accessories here that Demoniacal Fit has went up to. And as you see in the box here, box art looking great. They have taken a page and they, they, they found their, their look here. And it is the tour exclusive look from the Tamashii Nations. Uh, they just grabbed it and are doing that with all of their releases, it seems. And yes, you're looking on screen you're wondering, why, why is there a bunch of crotch steam on, on that uh, Maj Vegeta boy? Well, let me tell you, I have seen uh, in other reviews and just online that if you're not careful, the hip joint breaks. You gotta click, click, crack. And uh, that's, that's what happened there. I had to take extra precautions, dip the boy in hot water and then put him back in there. So hints, crotch steam. Ever seen it before? Nope, it's weird. You just you just move on with it. And um, I'm happy to say that I didn't have to oil mine because I did not hear the click click. Uh, so I was like, okay, well, hopefully everything goes through smoothly with this review. I'm I'm really hoping so because I cannot lose the Majin Vegeta due to QC issues. Uh, and the, the rest of it you can see in through the window shots showing, showing a decent amount off. And then you got the proud prince over here. Just <gasps> And then lastly, you've got the product shots on the back here. And this right here is what I was talking about. This is the thing that sold me. Demoniacal Fit has taken a page out of Tamashi Nation's book and was like, hey, you got something? Well, we do, we, we got something else for you. And uh, very excited for this uh, faceplate right there. Uh, and then the rest of it, Majin Vegeta. I gotta say, dudes, I, I said dudes. That's, that's universal. I am so excited. So let's go ahead and get Mudgeon Vegeta out of the box. And there is Majin Vegeta out of the box. And as you can see, looks like it comes with a decent amount of accessories. He's got four interchangeable Majin Vegeta face plates and you got two pairs of interchangeable hands. You've got the Majin Vegeta just shooting a hole through big boy Boo. And then you've got uh, some, some food hands. You've got a chicken leg and spoons for the curry. And of course we have got the crowning jewel right there with the normal base eating Vegeta face there. So very excited for this. I got to say the colors looking really nice. It looks like it what, what the prototype should have been for the original release so ooh, you, you ready yeah let's go ahead and get into this review As for accessories for Majin Vegeta, looking up about that much, which is actually fantastic. Love that. Can look down about that much, which is pretty good. Arms can move like so uh, when it comes to the T-pose here. If you move the joint down and then kind of bring it up there, that's that's what he's going to get. And it's because the sleeve stops that, uh, which isn't too bad. Uh, does have the butterfly joint, which is very very impressive so all up 
in Kakarot's face right there, looking great as far as that goes. Bicep swivel looking really good. Double jointed arms, not, it's actually right there and not right there with uh, some third parties. Also, forgot to mention, it's been a while since I've actually gotten to, to check a third party and its looseness. Don't, don't, don't quote that. So, without further, ooh! Yes, very, very tight joints. So love that. Very excited. And now double. So going, going back here to the arms here, we have got the ball joint within the wrist, which seems pretty firm uh, and then can cr ooh, crunch like so. And then a very pretty impressive limbo style like that. Now moving on to the legs here. Oh my God. Goodness. Look at that split. That is fantastic. Now I'm gonna have to say that that is the the relation to the thigh cut right there and a double jointed knee which looks really gonna gonna be kneeing Majin Buu in the face later. Uh, now as far as the toe or the foot right there can go down like so come up like that a little bit of ankle rocker which isn't too much because that's usually what happens uh, with these boots on the Vegeta boy and of course you got a little <laughs> okay, decent, decent amount of toe pivot action there. So, articulation on Majin Vegeta from Demoniacal Fit is... Do we give it the chef? Yeah, we gotta give it the chef. Blah, yes. Yeah! And full paint apps and sculpting here. Yes, this is turned into a full blown comparison review. And, ooh, it's gonna be good. So, obviously... If you're not colorblind, you can tell that there is a huge difference in the color and Demoniacal Fit is nailing it with the actual accurate representation of Majin Vegeta. Over here, this is, it, it's too light blue. It shouldn't have been this color. And then you've got the boots here, very, very true to form boots at the bottom with Demoniacal Fit. And then you've got those, uh, not so, I've never been a fan of that color, but I guess it is what it is when it comes to Tamashii Nations. They just like to go with darker colors. I wish it would have been uh, brighter, but that is that now. Everything else looks identical uh, as far as the the sculpting here and we'll actually get into that right like looking at this everything is identical uh, when it comes to these boys here the the shirt is the only it's a different color but everything looks the same the abs on both of them look great demoniacal fit and nailing it on that the veins there coming out of the shoulders and then also at the forearm down there a little actually no no they're both they're both identical which is fantastic going there to the back nothing is different and then over here on the other arm there nothing is different switching it back down here to the legs here like everything everything is perfect everything is identical and that's what you want to see when you're actually looking at a third party as a as a uh, comparison on what you could do because I, I've uh, slowly started to notice Demoniacal Fit has stopped being as ambitious as trying to make their own molds and just just changing things, doing things up and also putting the secondary, uh, I wouldn't say putting the secondary market out of business, but just more of a, well, you don't want to pay $180 for him. So here is this with another cool little faceplate. So really liking the fact that they are doing that. I did used to harp on them a lot for their QC in the beginning there, but they have slowly come into their own and started to, to iron out the kinks, I would say. And Ooh, can't can't stress enough how good this looks compared to the official release. Yeah! Moving on to the accessories comparison for Vegeta. We have got a neutral faces and I've been staring at this for at least 30 minutes now trying to figure out a difference and I cannot tell you. Now, I, I will say Demoniacal Fit has a little bit more of a sinister look than this one for some reason. Well, actually, they both they both have their their uh, their merits and qualities. Uh, but I think the Tamashii Nations is a little slimmer when it comes to the chin there. Moving on to de de uh, Demoniacal Fit a little and I mean in the easiest bit a little bit wider but I think it's the way it sits on the neck peg it gives it more of a hunched over look which honestly that's fucking great because 
Vegeta's possessed at, at this point here and he needs to look a little hunched over, not himself like proud and true, but more of a, uh, I, I know that's not what happens on the show. Yes, it, like he fights it completely. I get that, but ah, uh, God, this looks really good. Now moving like all, all through the faceplate, like, it's identical. Veins on on both of them look great. Uh, over here, we're just gonna focus more mainly on demoniacal fit and try to pick out the differences between the two. Uh, lining around there on the nose looks great. The Morty mouth in the middle looks fan freaking fantastic. Underlining around the eyes is a little higher and a little bit more angled, giving and I think that's what it is. It's giving it a more uh, look instead of this one this is flat and it, it sits just a little lower Li the the emo hot topic lining around the eyes looks fantastic and then the emo or the the anime eyebrows over here the three little tick, 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 uh, over there looks great and then look they even shaded his ears just like Tamashi Nations of yore. looks great dirty ears in all with this neutral faceplate and for the next faceplate, I know you're wondering why, what, what, did he change anything? And yes, I did change something. And uh, remember when Tamashi Nation screwed up their own release and sent us two neutral, direct looking faceplates for the Majin Vegeta? I remember. And do you know who else remembers? Pepperidge Farm remembers. Yeah, they do too. And so Demoniacal Fit taking advantage of that and and actually giving us the faceplate that we wanted here. It looks a tiny bit different and he's looking over that way. Just a tiny bit there, but lining around the, the nose looks great. The, the lining under the eyes looks fantastic. It looks like it's on the same level as this here and I want to believe that this is what it, what was supposed to actually happen was uh, they they just had him look straight instead of looking to the left there because this does look pretty identical okay and see see here's here's another difference here the vein there is no vein on the official release for that uh, Morty mouth looking great on demoniacal fits and the lining around his eyes that emo hot topic oh so good dirty ears all all in play the lining around the pupils looks fantastic it's identical except for the fact that we've got the the anime vein right up here and then it's looking to the left which ah yeah and moving on to the next faceplate we have got the uh faceplate for majin vegeta and ooh. okay i see i see the difference here you got the vein on the top left you got the vein over here which looks fantastic on demon Eye fit morty mouth extremely prominent the eyebrows looking fantastic hot topic eyeliner looking great pupils looking fantastic anime eyebrows looking great dirty ears all in play the lining on demoniacal fit is a little straight there on the underlining there when you move over to the official release it's a little curved and a little closer to the eye line which gives it a little bit more uh, i would say character a little bit more emotion you got the uh cheeks going up higher there and i would say the teeth look fantastic i could see a little bit of imperfection right there uh when it comes to the teeth on demoniacal fit this one is a little bit more clean there so tamashi taking it just a little bit further with their with their actual quality uh, control but overall fantastic the lining is a little lower so it's not going to give it the extreme look that you're looking for but overall oh god does this look good we have got the evil smile for majin vegeta and veins up here looking great on both sides eyebrows looking fantastic anime eyebrows on the sides looking identical perfect uh i can see a difference with demoniacal fits pupils compared to the official releases pupil they're a little higher into the eyebrows which honestly good great love it it actually gives it a more sinister look and i do like that because he's kind of looking at you like so and this one is a more straight on so the uh, the hot topic eyeliner is ooh, 
so crisp, so clean. Like I said, Tamashi Nation's official release is a little lower on the pupils there. And uh, it, it doesn't take away from the faceplate, but I say demoniacal fit nailed it. Uh, the, the morty mouth on the eyebrow is it's prominent as hell. Lining on the nose looks great on both. The mouth, the mouth right here. That is a pretty mouth. Stop it. Uh, that is a pretty mouth uh, when it comes to both of them. They're identical, but I would say what Demoniacal Fit has done here is genius. They have changed the color of the lining around the mouth just ever so slightly that gives it more detail, more emotion, and it actually makes the mouth look a little bit more sinister compared to the official release. The official release face, this one, I don't really think I've used it too much in my display. I mean, it's something about the mouth, but seeing seeing it on Demoniacal Fit, I can see that's what they were going for. And, oh, it's such a good face light. Do we need to say it? No, we don't. No veins at the top. Eyebrows looking fantastic. Anime eyebrows looking great. Hot Topic eyeliner uh, is just, mwah. Okay, so I did see that the official release on this Sinister Smile, higher pupils. Uh, that's what they did, and I think think it makes that faceplate look a little better. It's a little bit more sinister. It's kind of looking up at you like so. Uh, the, but other than that there, I, I will say Demoniacal Fit's uh, lining on the, on the, uh, the middle nose there, the morning mouth, and then also the nose, a lot less uh, scrunched together, which honestly looks better. I would say lining on the, on the cheeks there, uh, I'm gonna say identical. Mouth looks great. Um, it, it, it's so, it, it's just the pupils, the official release giving it the edge there. The mouth, fantastic sinister smile. So honestly, if Demoniacal Fit's pupils were just a boop, boop, a little bit higher there, it would it would take the cake here. But other than that, identical to the official release. Oh, what we've all been waiting for the the food face on Vegeta and he looks so good. Widow's Peak looks great. The four headlines looks fantastic. He's looking down perfectly at the food. Cheeks are so, so good. I would almost say even better than Goku's face uh, for his eating face there. So love this face play. It's just something fun that they added to it. And I think it gives the, it gives it an edge and the value over the official release, which is just, <laughs> <laughs> yeah! And as we all know, we cannot have a proud Prince Vegeta review without having a compatibility check. And as always, this is quite tedious, but it has to be done because skin tone is matching most of the Vegetas. So I don't really think there's going to be a problem, but I do need to check the ball peg on all these boys. So without further ado, let's go ahead and just hit so first off, we have Saiyan Armor Base Form Vegeta. Just calling it back from the old days. And yeah, this is gonna be weird, but I don't know, maybe you watch Dragon Ball Heroes and you're just like, I like fan fiction. Oh, this is painful, ladies and gentlemen collectors. My God, no, no, it does not work. You ready? You want you want to see what happens? Ah, that that's that's exactly what happens here. And we've we've got to we've actually got to come down to the the discussion of what what's going on here. Look at the ball peg size between these two. Like that is, I, I know, I, there, there you go, right there. Look at that. Oh yeah, 100% different sizes. So that kind of like puts a nail in the coffin. For our compatibility check, because as we know, all Vegeta SH Fig Arts ball, uh, ball pegs are the same size for for them. So they're all, they're all interchangeable. That is not going to be the case with this demoniacal fit, which is, gotta say, a bummer. A bit, I just, it's a bummer. It really is uh, because I was, I was looking forward to maybe just having a base form Vegeta. So with that being said here, we do need to at least check some things real quick. Just, just for the sake of our, our, our opinions here. This is the last thing I wanted to check. And uh, this is actually, this is official releases faceplate. And this is Demoniacal Fit's faceplate. Uh, 
it fits the official release uh takes a little bit of finagling but it does go on the de demoniacal fits headpiece this uh hanging off just a little bit you can see a gap there so if you wanted to you can switch them out if you like different face plates on them and you wanted to have it on the official release or vice versa then it can work now as far as the the last thing i did want to check for our compatibility it is going to be all right that is <laughs> that is our kong studio majin vegeta faceplate or just actual hair piece right there and if you can tell it's not fitting it's 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 made mainly for the official release there so that is not going to work a little bit of a bummer because i do like the body on this vegeta but uh that headpiece is not gonna work on there i love love that and if you haven't already seen it the review is right up right up there yeah. bring it on out we have got vegeta's fisty fisty cuff hands with them fists extermination hands or key blast big bang hands uh to be exact and uh just don't just don't take him to a stadium <laughs> more scary hands now that i i, I typically lock the fingers together and just do that to goku's back there so uh we got those hands for you a quick preview of what it looks like to uh follow me into a grocery store just opening the the doors with that and uh yeah Shooting, shooting holes through pink boys. And last but certainly not least, my favorite thing out of this whole thing is we've got the spoon hands and the chicken hands. And I gotta say, Demon Eichel fit killing it with a uh, fried chicken leg there. Love that. It's got a cartoony look to it, but I love it so much. And it goes so well with this eating face. And you didn't think I was just gonna like forget about the curry and rice. Oh my God, look at it. The texture of the rice is ridiculous. The vegetables on there is great. It's got a nice little uh, thing at the bottom there to where you can have the, the figure actually hold the, the, the curry little plate there. So, <laughs> yeah. And the maniacal fits. Majin Vegeta, proud prince, stands at a bow. It looks about, what is that? Six and a half inches in almost 16 centimeters there. So, seems all right. But you never can tell unless you have a royal flush. Oh my God. Look at that royalty on screen. You have got SH Fig Arts base form Saiyan Saga armor Vegeta over there. You got Super Vegeta. You got our boy in question, D Maniacal Fitz, Proud Prince. We have got the official release Tamashi Nation's Majin Vegeta. We have got the SH Fig Arts Super Saiyan God. Good. Almost said Goku. Wow. Somebody just. Stop, stop the presses. That was horrible. I I should be excommunicated from YouTube for ever putting that on there. Super Saiyan God Vegeta from the Broly movie. And you've got Kong Studios. Super Saiyan Blue Evolution. You can find the review right up by right there. So looking good. I would have to say so from what I can tell. I think the the spacing between the official release over here and this on their feet is making them stand just a little bit off there the shoulders look great it looks like super vegeta's shoulder pads are a little higher but the the head it's it's close enough i can see just a each bit of the difference uh but just just that amount nothing nothing crazy so i would say overall pretty good size comparison for the rest of the vegeta line yeah it's kind of sad that this is all the vegetas we have we're not gonna bring out 1.0 vegeta from the resurrection f movie that is uh mm -mm, nope can't 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 do it won't acknowledge that i do have him though you know that so yes it is time to see him with the rest of his counterparts yeah we'll bring a clown on stage and we'll also i don't know pink bubblegum you know all those sorts of things and there he is ladies and gentle collectors can you see it i can see it look at all look at all them dead boys on screen you've got super saiyan 2 orange pe customs Super Saiyan Goku over there, and ooh, oh, 
God, it's looking good. Then you've got Super Saiyan 3 Goku, not the re reissue, but there's really no difference in that. And then you've got Big Boy Majin Buu showing up right there. And I gotta say, Vegeta looks fantastic as far as scaling goes with these boys there. So, mm, yeah, I think so. I think so. It was, so we, 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 we did it there. And God, does that hairpiece look good? So with all of that being said, how will Demon Eichel Fitz, Proud Prince, Majin Vegeta stand against most of Demon Eichel Fitz releases thus far? Will he be the coveted got to freaking have it? Or will he just be a Find out after this short break. <laughs> gentle collectors are you entertained i gotta ask because what are you thinking about the d maniacal fits proud prince majin vegeta looking glorious amazing oh my god if tamashi nations would have done this in the first place would we have needed this yes because you can never have too many vegetas you can have too many gokus because we already do but my god okay so gripes Mm, not too many uh and and they're i wouldn't say they're like actual gripes they're just like i wish this um yes we got we got a we got all the pieces from the official release and then we got an extra headpiece great i need a majin vegeta yelling face like uh like that that's that's what i want I don't expect Demoniacal Fit to do it, but that is, that's just me wanting that. Uh, second, he gets a little squeaky. And by a little squeaky, I mean if you are not grabbing this at the base of the joint and turning it that way, you could possibly break him, uh, especially hips and arms. He's very squeaky. It's almost like his joints are too tight. I'm pretty sure that is remedied by oil and of the sort. Now, yes, I did dip him in hot boiling water uh, before before the review st or started, but it's been a couple days since then. So of course he's gonna cool down and. I, I can tell, I can tell, like, if I am not careful with him, I am going to snap him. That is not anything terrible, like, it hasn't happened, but I can tell that it is there, so be careful. Positives. Oh my god, they got the color right. They got, they got all of it right. None of it looks like a normal demoniacal fit faceplate. And when I say that, I mean, normally demoniacal fits extra faceplates, they got the gums right there and the skin lines uh, in between the teeth. And that is not the case for this. They knocked it out of the park with this Majin Vegeta. And I cannot tell you enough. If you don't have a Majin Vegeta, this is such a suitable replacement. If you need another amazing Majin Vegeta costume, like this is my favorite form of Vegeta. And then you get the, the dark blue armor. This is, 
this is a perfect stand-in for that or just an extra one if you don't want to pay the 180 dollars that the original release Majin vegeta is going for my rating scale i like i don't know what else to say except for oh my god like they they knocked it out of the park i'm so happy to report we're not even gonna go through it d maniacal fit here today what is this january 14th 2022 has received a got to freaking have it from none other than me and i am so happy to award that because last week's uh review you can check that up there weiss's goku put a sour taste in my mouth just because like god i already started off a review with hate it that sucks we're back in it, baby. We are loving it. We are got to freaking having it with this boy. So, guys, let me know what you think. I've heard really good things about him. I would love to hear your comments down below. So, if you like those shots going on over there, head on over to LeCompton <laughs> underscore on Instagram. Give him a like, love, follow, whatever you got to do. They'll be all glammed up and whatnot ready. Ready for you to give that heart. And guys, thank you so much for watching this. If you haven't already done so and you like the video, why not consider subscribing? And uh, I guess you hit that like button too. And uh, while you're subscribing, why don't you hit that notification bell, let you know when my videos are coming out. I tend to put them up every Saturday, God willing. <laughs> I've, we've been doing pretty okay so far, so I'm, I'm happy about, uh, you know, sticking on that schedule. Uh, next week, we have, uh, we're going back to the oldies. I believe we have got D uh, another demoniacal fit, and it is the Super Saiyan God, Super Saiyan Limit Breaker Goku. Uh, so what the tour event exclusive for NYCC is going to be, that's where they got their, um, their ideas from i would say uh so they took it straight from them so we're going to be reviewing the source material before we get the actual release in april uh so stick around for that thank you guys so much for watching again and until next time compton out <laughs>